So what I found about using the Legion Go this past almost two weeks is um, its strength is not just in its mobile gaming ability, it's more so in its transformable ability. Now everybody scream, no respect to the X. No respect given. It's the Legion Go that has the ability to transform itself to fit the user's needs the best. Now, if you are into the whole mobile PC gaming uh, niche, you, you know that the Legion Go is one of the bigger devices out there. I think it is the biggest device with an 8-point inch screen, you know, and a 144 hertz refresh rate. It's just a beautiful thing to look at. But um, one of the things they don't really tout about this device is its ability to just be a regular gaming PC. And to me, this is probably the biggest strength of the device itself. Now, the main reason this is possible is because the right controller, as I call them, can, trans can transform itself into a mouse on a whim. It comes with this nice little puck, and when you connect the device vertically into the puck, and you switch a, a little toggle on the bottom of it, the device itself becomes a mouse. Now, you note how the buttons on it are different when compared to the left side. That is because they expect you to when you're using the device to play games and what have you, to use these buttons, or they would be used more e easily by your thumb with the placement that they, they have. You'll also notice at the front, or on the side, they have two distinct buttons for your uh, pointer and your middle finger when playing, if that's how you, you play. One, two. And there's also here your trigger and your uh, scroll wheel. So they thought of all of the ergonomics for this mouse over go troller. And it works surprisingly well, not only in gaming, but also when you just want to get some work done. Now, I my, myself like to write. I write down m many things with a pen and a, pen, a pencil. I have a notepad in my pocket, and I'm one who does not particularly care for a device if it doesn't have some kind of stylus input. But when I need to change all those ideas into story form and save them I go with my word and this device here is just an almost perfect portable PC of course you'll need to get yourself a little uh, keyboard like I have here preferably one that, that can fold up but when you use it as such it really works really well Where I can't see the mouse pointer right now. Oh, there it is. Right. See here, we, we think you can see it. And yes, this keyboard was for it because it does have a little lip to put your mobile phones on. But as you can see, because of the large screen of the device, you know what? Let me give, give you guys one better. But there, I've taken off the other controls so it won't be a dis action. Using the right go controller as a mouse, you have a almost perfect portable PC. The, the screen, as I said before, is the standout feature of this device. And it allows for this type of usefulness. People can't say, oh, well, you know, the ROG Ally is also a Windows 
PC, which is true, but if you have ever tried to use that device without having it connected to a larger mon mon monitor for anything but gaming, you will have an issue. This screen of the Legion Go is so large that you can easily type out your emails, in my case, my uh, story notes. Uh, uh, if you are trying to write a, a script for a YouTube video, anything that you can use a word for, the screen is large enough to handle that on its own. And that, I think, is one of the standout features that Lenovo should push just to let them know that not only is it a wonderful gaming device, but it's also a, just as good as a productivity device on its own. More or less, of course, you need a keyboard. So not only are you able to write things down, you are also able to go right back into your gaming when you're done with your notes, with the, your work. I mean, it's very useful to have something like this, let's say at school, in college, you have another option. It's, it's not just laptop anymore. You really could get a device like this or this, get yourself a hard drive, a cheap portable keyboard, and you have a device that in theory is might just be better than most laptops out there. It's easier to carry around, has the internals that most laptops in this price range, you know, may not have, and it can be used as a portable gaming machine, much easier than a laptop can, due to the controllers that the device comes with. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a, a feature I didn't think I would use as much, but <laughs> right now my tablet is dead, and I did want to take some notes, and just use, use, using this in its uh, stead really made me realize that just how useful the Legion Go was as not just a gaming device, but also a productivity device as well. Not only is the Legion Go useful as a mini Windows PC, but also a mini Windows tablet. Now, if you take off the Go controllers as I have there, you see that for all intent and purpose, the Go is just a Windows tablet. A little thicker than most, especially by uh, today's standards. But you can't deny that even for its thickness, it can be pretty useful as a tablet in itself. Now, of course, you have to go into the settings to change the or orientation to allow it to free flow. Let's not turn on. Let's turn off lock. Mm, locked. All right. Let's get out of here. And boom. Windows tablet. Now you guys might remember when uh, Windows uh, was it nine, eight, with with all of the tiles and such. Um, they had many Windows tablet for varying price ranges. I, I still have a few at home. And all of them, or maybe I should say none of them, were as powerful as this one in my hand right now. So let's say you, you did want to just walk on with the tablet in hand, uh, get some quick work done, check the web, type up something real quick. I personally can't do it now because I have I one hand holding the computer while the other is holding my phone. It could easily be done. And again, as thick as it is, it's not that heavy. 
And it's not that wide that you can't palm it in your hand. Now, yes, the sides are thick, but we aren't dealing with the sides because you can still hold this as you need to. Um, and of course, you you can walk around, you can scroll through websites uh, if you have emails to check, things to sign, just as handy as any other Windows tablet out there. Maybe even more so because it's such a small footprint, technically speaking. The 8.8 inch screen of the tablet is not too large to just walk around with as as opposed to, let's say, a Surface PC with a 10 inch screens and 12 inch screens and such a lot. Harder to hold with one hand and to navigate. But something like this, especially if, let's say, you have a pen, now you have access to the more intricate features of uh, sorry, of, the, of the tablet with drawing apps and things along the, those lines. So you are free to surf the web, check on sites, uh, watch whatever you may want to watch, just like any other t tablet. And this is not a feature that they tout much. So I think it really is a device that is capable of doing so much more than they let on. It's just for the user to really delve into the uniqueness of the device and find what works for them. It's not about it's not all about games. It's about getting things done. So with that said, my name is NG, the Neon X, and really delving into the potential of the Lenovo Legion Go. This is what I'm into.